<laughs> so, trial bids. Um, so, trial bids. Um, trial bids are a, a opening side bidding agreement, and they are essentially a usage of wasted space. So, you will, whenever you play with someone who is good at bridge, you will find that there's always a meaning for a certain bid in a certain sequence. There's no such thing as a wasted bid. What would this mean for the blur? The, the, the and they'd come up with some kind of logical answer for what that bid would mean. So what trial bids look to do, they look to make use of space that isn't otherwise traditionally used. And that is when you open one of a major and your partner raises to two of a major. So in traditional kind of classical ACOL, you would either pass if your hand's weak, bid four spades if you think game's a good idea, and bid three spades if you like that. That's fairly logical and straightforward. The problem is there, you haven't actually used two no trumps, three clubs, three diamonds, or three hearts. They're all bids you could have made. Why would you make those bids when you've already agreed a major? So the point really is, if you had a spade fit, as you do here, there's no point in you bidding three clubs and it meaning clubs, because you don't actually need to show clubs, even if you have them, because you found a major fit. So trial bids refer to a scenario where you have agreed a major suit, so you don't need other suits to be natural, natural meaning four or more cards. So what trial bids do is they say, well, we might as well use those bids in the suits we don't need to bid naturally as some kind of information bid, some, we're passing some information to our partner rather than just giving them a generic I am invitational or I am game going or I am weak. What you can do is use three clubs, three diamonds and three hearts in this specific sequence as a way of inviting your partner to game but by passing information as well as inviting. So you're saying you're thinking about game and you bid a suit to try and convey information in that particular suit. Again, it's not necessarily natural, so you don't have to have four cards in it. There are two variants of trial bids. There are long suit trial bids and there are short suit trial bids. The most common by well, probably 20 times more common than any other is long suit trial bids. So whenever I refer to the term trial bid, I'm talking about a long suit trial bid. Just like when I say Blackwood, I mean Roman Keycard Blackwood really, just based on like, frequency. So what a trial bid is, is it a long suit trial bid that is, it says I have losers in this particular suit. I'm thinking game is potential, so you're in the invitational bracket, but I'm worried about this suit. So you bid a suit that you have concern over. You are, it's a trial bid because you are trying for game. You are thinking game is a potential. What that means is you don't know game is definitely on, so you don't have an 18, 19 powerhouse of a hand, nor do you think that game is definitely not on. I suppose that is 18. You've got 18. Uh, anyway, you get that. Idea. <laughs> um, nor do you think game is definitely not on, where you've got kind of 12, 13, you think game will never be on opposite of a weak race. Don't, don't forget that this is a kind of limit bit. So it's up, up to nine points or nine losers, depending on if they're balanced or unbalanced. So a trial bid here, a good suit to trial bid will be a suit you're worried about. What suit are you worried about? Oh. Hearts. So by bidding beyond two spades, you are saying that game is a potential. If you didn't think game was a potential, you would just bid on beyond two spades. If you thought game was definite, you'd be bidding four spades. So you must be in the invitational world. Now in the kind of old fashioned days, pre-trial bids, you would bid three spades on that hand going, well I'm like that about game, do you want to bid four or do you not want to bid four? It's a bit of a book pass, you kind of go, and I don't know whether to do it or not, so you do it, and if we go off I can blame you, and if we make it, <laughs> great. So trial bids are a way of being kind of more scientific, more clever about the way you're inviting your partners to bid game. Presumably it's alert to it? It's not actually, because it's considered natural. Any, any bid that shows three or more cards is considered natural. Which is one of those weird things. I think they should be alerted because it's quite a specific mm -hmm. meaning. But according to the rules, because it's three cards or more, it's considered a natural bid and therefore it doesn't need alerting. But I feel ethically you should make your opponents aware of what you're doing. Because although the rules say you don't have to, I feel like you should, just ethically speaking. So strictly speaking, you could not do anything. They bid four spades and they could think that this is a natural suit. So I think you should tell them that it's a trial bid just out of kind of what you, the correct thing to do. So you would never do it if your weak suit was two cards. Diamonds with two cards. No, you wouldn't. I'll explain why in a minute. So a trial bid essentially says, I'm worried about this suit, but I think game has a potential. What it does is rather than just bidding three spades in this sequence, it gives three spades which just says to partner bid four or don't, up to you. 
Bidding a specific suit says, bid for if you can help me in this suit. If you can't help me in this suit, I don't think game's a good idea. So if your partner also has, let's say, three small hearts, they know that game is not a good idea because the heart, heart losers are not going anywhere. You're going to lose heart, heart, heart before you even get going. So game is unlikely to be the correct thing in, to be in. If your partner can help in hearts with big cards or shortage, I'll get to that in a minute, then they think game is potentially a good idea because they can help where you are weak and hope, presumably you can help where they are weak. So to make a trial bit, you need to have an invitational hand. So of 17, 16, 17-ish, something like that. The more shape you've got, the more kind of loose you can be with your points. Um, if you are unbalanced, this hand happens to be balanced, but if you are unbalanced, then you can be, uh, I don't know, about six losers, something like that, where you think it's like that on the cusp of whether to go for game or not. Um, if you do have a really, really good hand, don't bother trial bidding. And if you do have a really weak hand, don't bother trial bidding. It is in that middle bracket, so 15, 16, 17, 18, sort of that, that bracket. <coughs> now, when you make a trial bid, you are saying something specific about that suit. I don't like this suit. The bad thing about that is that you're giving the information to the opponent. Whenever <coughs> you make a bid that is quite specific, especially when it's sort of analysing and kind of isolating a weakness, it's not good to let the opponents know that. So the trade-off for that is that you bid more sensible games. Without trial bids, you might bid three spades, four spades, and lose the first three parts, for example. So whilst the opponents are learning where you are weak, first of all, it's quite likely they're going to lead a half, given they've got half on us. And also, it's, a, it's a, a price that you should be willing to pay. Giving them information is often not desirable, obviously, because you don't want them to know things, but it's worth paying that price so that your partner is aware of it as well. It's worth them hearing, if you like. When you trial bid, you should have three cards in a suit. If you only have two cards in the suit, yes, you don't like that suit, but you aren't going to lose three quick tricks. So a trial bid says, really, I have sort of a three loser suit, or I have three small cards in this suit. That is a perfect trial bid. You could have jack to three, queen to three is sort of on the edge, but jack to three certainly is not going to kind of turn up any roots or anything. If I move the ace and change the hand a little bit to this, this is slightly less perfect for trial bid because you do have some help in your own worry suit. Your own worry suit here should be hearts because these suits are pretty good and obviously they're trumps. I would still trial bid in hearts. It's not as perfect as three small cards, but you do still need help in hearts. You have got losing hearts. You do need something to happen to those losing hearts. If your partner has three small hearts this time, you're going to go off in game most likely as well, because they don't have any help for hearts. So it's just a suit you want help in. It should be as natural as you can make it, but three cards or more is okay. Two cards or fewer, you shouldn't be that worried about the suit. Yes, two small is not good, but two cards or fewer, you're not worried. For example, you wouldn't try with diamonds, because you aren't worried about diamonds. They're going to win a diamond at best, and then that's it. Whereas hearts, although you have the ace, you are still worried about that heart suit. Do you see? So it's basically a suit where you've got lots of little cards. Lots being three or more. Okay. With, with that suit where you've got 18 points and... Yeah, you might just blast a game, perhaps if I do. No, I'm just, I'm just thinking that um, if you did a trial bid, then your South might not have cover in hearts, but might have enough points to make core anyway. Yes, yeah, so a trial bid supersedes points. Points are a guideline, trial bid is more specific. So it might be that South has a maximum, let's say nine, mm -hmm. but they have weak hearts. So they know that although you have the 25 for game, mm -hmm. you know that actually game wasn't a good idea because you both share the same weakness. Mm -hmm. okay. There are situations where you bid game because the trial bid has worked and you only have 20 points, and you don't bid game when you have 25 yeah, okay. and the trial bid doesn't work. Okay. It's actually better than points because it analyzes specifically where you need help. So it should supersede the points. It doesn't always work because nothing ever works 100% of the time, but it works <laughs> almost all the time. So. <coughs> Basically, when you agree a major, if you bid a side suit, it says, I'm thinking about game, I'm sort of on the cusp for game, can you help me here? I have a three loser suit, or I have small cards that I'm worried about in that specific suit. Now, if we turn it round, and instead we become the responder, how do you respond to this trial bid question? So let's give some kind of hand. Okay, so. 
So north opens a heart. We are now transforming ourselves into the responder. North opens a heart. South is two hearts, six points or more, six to nine points, I suppose, and four hearts. They've been two spades. This is the most deceptive of a trial bid because it's not at the three level. You're quite used to trial bids being at the three level because almost all of them happen to be at the three level. Two spades is the only time it doesn't occur at the three level, and that's because spades are superior to hearts. So if you bid three spades, you've gone beyond three hearts. So that's it. Um, so what your partner's saying there is they have losers in spades. They're worried about the spade suit, but they are inviting you to bid game. Should you be able to help them in the spade suit? <laughs> what do you think about your spade suit? <laughs> it's a disaster, isn't it? They're going to leave spade, 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 and potentially three hearts is too much, you could argue. So we certainly need to be getting out below game. So therefore, when you have a negative response, you make the most logical bid, which would be three hearts. That says, no, thank you. Okay, let's um, I don't know, change the hand a little bit. Queen... Okay, so same bidding, but now I've turned, I've sort of moved some points around, added a couple of points in the half suit. Now what do you think? Can you help them? Yeah. yeah. Your king queen of spades now looks to be helpful for your partner's sort of jack to three or three small or ace to four or whatever it is their, their suit is, is gaps. You can kind of fill their gaps if you like. Mm -hmm. So therefore, you bid the logical bid there. Four hearts. That is quite kind of satisfyingly simple. Normally bridge isn't that simple, but it is that simple in this, in, in this world. It is just bid it or don't bid it. Simple as that. You could, if you like, agree that four clubs is this and four diamonds is this and whatever you want. But it's so unlikely that you'll have a slam on when it's got one banana, two bananas. It's, I'd like to say, single digit percentage time. It really is super rare for one, two to be a slam. So making four clubs some kind of control bid or something isn't really worth the wait. It's not worth <coughs> realizing that. It's, more, it's just easy to make it simple for you. Three hearts, no. Four hearts, yes. Or three spades, no. Four spades, yes. So, in this example, whilst I have given you kind of, not an easy one, but I've made the first one obviously a, a sign-off, and the second one obviously a game bid, you need some kind of rule as to know when it is. It shouldn't just be on instinct, although instinct is often a good idea. So, if your partner is representing a three-loser suit for their trial bid, you need to be able to cut their losers down by at least two. That means you want a one-loser suit at best. I.e., two of the top three, or shortage. They are both one loser suits. So if I change our hand a little bit and remove five points from our hand, but instead give us an extra club and a heart, how many have One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You might have three hearts there. Anyway, let's see two. Now we've raised one heart to two hearts on our shape, not our points. You could say, what do you mean three points? Why on earth am I bidding on three points? Well, you've got a singleton and a doubleton and five card trump fit. You're definitely bidding our after partner and one heart. They don't want something else other than clubs. You probably aren't bidding. Um, but one heart, two hearts, that's perfectly sound. You could even argue three hearts because you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight losers. But I think that queen XX is a bit dodgy. It's two losers. So I think two hearts is about right. Um, north bids two spades, which is a trial bid, saying I've got three small spades or that kind of suit. Now here, we can help them, but not with strength, with shortage. Your partner's three spades, let's imagine they've got three small spades, you can cut their losers down by two, because their three losers have become one, haven't they? Because you're going to lose one spade, and then you're going to rub a spade, rub a spade, is probably what's going to happen with your partner's spades. So it isn't just big cards that you can help your partner with, it's also shortage. So essentially, when they make a trial bid, you look at the trial bid suit, and you then think, is this a one loser suit or better? So is the spade suit there a one loser suit? Yes. yes. So therefore, we should bid game. It is, it is as simple as that. You don't need to worry about the lack of points because your partner has asked you for something very specific. They said, I am worried about this suit. If they're invitational, but they have a suit they are worried about, it means they've got all the other suits pretty well covered. They're sort of 16, 17 points. Don't fall in that suit, which means they are quite heavily stacked in the other suits. So therefore, if you can help them with that problem, game should be a good bet. I can't promise you'll make it, but it's a good bet. So here, although you only have three points and you're feeling like you sort of overbid already with two hearts, actually you should raise two spades to four hearts 
because you can help them. They have asked you the one and only suit you can help with, haven't they? If they try out their three clubs or three diamonds, you do not have a one loser suit in either of those suits. So in that world, you would return back to three cards. You see? So it's all about the specific suit they've named that supersedes everything about your hand. You can't think, oh, well, I can help you, but I'm embarrassed about my original bid, so I'm just going to pretend. They've asked you a question, answer it. You can help them, bid game. If you get shouted at for bidding game when they trial bid space, then you need a new partner, because that is what trial bids are for. They are looking for help like this, and their three small spades have now been helped, you would imagine. A perfect suit for your partners out here would be ace, x, x, x in spades. That would be a delight, because then you have no spade losers because of your singleton. Okay? So essentially, make a trial bid with a suit when you're invitational, when it goes major, major, uh, major, same major, I should say. And if your partner has made a trial bid, look specifically at that suit. They're asking you a direct question, so bid three or four, depending on how much you can help them. Okay. Yeah. Only if you've got three, you wouldn't if you've got four losers, you know. Yeah, three or more, I suppose. Three or more. Yeah, uh, so okay. you, you could have four small, right. five small, yeah, red, though. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah. Three, three small, if you imagine they've got three small cards, that's normally what the round yeah. about. Yeah. 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 As long as you can make, reduce it. Yeah, as long as you can reduce yeah. it. One loser suit or better. Obviously, that would be even better. <coughs> Previously, when you had the King Queen X, and you counted the losers in the traditional way. Yes. But if the ace had been with West, that's yes. probably a two loser. Yes. So yeah. essentially, yeah, I, I take your point. It could be that we are losing two spades if the ace of spades is wrong and your partner does have three small spades. Um, count the losers in the traditional way, and if it is, if it is, it is. There is a 60 odd percent chance that the ace is here or here. They might have ace to four, for example. So it would be not unfortunate, but it's less likely to go wrong than it is to go right. Um, but yeah, there is possibilities. They, the thing about trial bids, the problem with trial bids, is that they are going to leave that suit. So <laughs> if you can't help them, you can't try it on. You have essentially done a face-up play there, haven't you? I'm worried about clubs. I can help you in clubs. They're going to lead a club, most likely, unless they've got some really weird hand where they need to lead a single turn or something. But you're going to be dummy, aren't you? You're going to be dummy, so your hand's going to get led through. Yeah. Which is a slight disadvantage, because if you've got some kind of holy, not in the religious way, but <laughs> the other way, suit like that, that's not good. That is not a two loser suit, so I wouldn't accept the trial bit here, but that is not really much help. Yes, you're going to help them with the ace, but then you're being led through, aren't you, on the trip, on the first trip, so it's not attractive. It's better for shortage, to be honest, because then it doesn't matter where the lead's coming from. Okay, happy with that? So far? Yeah, yeah good, mm -hmm. right. Now, that is when it's gone one major, two major. So it's quite a specific thing. But what about if the bidding has gone one minor, two minor?